hi guys you're welcome to my youtube channel i'm back with our guest i am so sick guest elena maybe she's she's a resident <laughs> i am <laughs> she's a resident i just know she's not paying rent anymore so if you <laughs> rent is up to date she's here again we're back with another video um if you are new here you're welcome to like subscribe share and comment and if you haven't watched our previous video where we discuss our master's experience and stuff like that uh please do watch it as a video before this one and today i'd like to welcome you guys to employment wednesdays and we are going to discuss the process of becoming a tutor or rather even the process of going into the academia space you know now i'm learning more from Ulwazi because i left her just being a tutor she went as far as being a low mentor of a very prominent university like i i keep very saying prominent. the only university that matters in this country is <laughs> the UJ. university of johannesburg UJ. 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 the other UJ. ones down the road today we don't care about them <laughs> watch them come for me anyway so yeah today we're going to discuss um like i said in the other video that why must you wait for uh, a season where you are employed within your actual profession or whatever that you've started one of the things you can become is becoming a tutor so uh, i'm going to share my journey how i became a tutor then ulla is going to also give us um uh, an extensive um explanation of how she became a low man and then she has to like Overseas, <laughs> guys. I can oh, imagine the, the 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 leadership uh, skills she has to she has to have the strength she has to have dealing with people, managing with people. Because you're not just the law mentor; you also have to manage tutors. So you can yeah, imagine the whole yeah. process. You're managing junior tutors. You're managing senior tutors. You are managing <laughs> even your students. So it's like you become the parent of the 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 faculty you know mm -hmm. like yeah or the the deputy parent because the lecturers and everyone else become the actual parents but anyway so uh like i said i've done a lot of jobs i've been, i've worked in retail i've worked um as a waiter but that one didn't last long like it was one week i'm like no ways i'm not doing this it's it's not my portion this is not the life i was called <laughs> for retail i did it for a year i've been a promoter for over a year i've been a data capture also for over a year like we've done a lot of jobs and i i did ask in the former video which is sometimes you feel like with all these accolades with all these uh distinctions really god are you going to reduce me to being a, a retail store person but you realize that all these seasons and all these journeys are necessary they teach you something i've realized with it, there's always a lesson in every job that you do in every season that you're in that's what i'd always say embrace every season embrace every circumstance for what it is right so and then i got like my real office job was actually being a tutor at the university of johannesburg and how i applied they that's the thing guys you can't be a student that goes to class and goes home it won't work like if it works for you i don't know how you do it you're clearly god's most fair fair faith yeah you know but it won't child. yes you won't it won't work if you are just gonna go to class and go home sometimes take walks down the d lab c labs then look at the notice board because some faculty i know there's people that were in our class but I think you also worked for business. You you tutored business at some point, ne? No, I I was part of business management, but I didn't tutor. It. Oh, you were part but of. I know it. people. Yeah, some people. Our, yeah, yeah, some people were in our class who who tutored like in different faculties. So it's not strict to say, but okay, just because you are in the law faculty, that's where you are limited to. So when you take a walk, you can go to the education faculty. Yes. Of course, everyone wants. It's unfortunate. Law faculty doesn't take people from other faculties. That's unfair. You know, it's very us. unfair. But I mean, they call us the noble profession for a reason. You know, <laughs> so it's very unfair. And everyone wants to be in the law faculty because even the the money is great. It's, it's a very good money, especially for a student. And yeah. it doesn't. The hours are not quite a lot. And as you teach, you learn. You know, I, I used the whole tutoring thing as as a way of me studying the things that I need to remember. Because when you're marking, you don't just copy and paste the memorandum. Sometimes now you have to apply yourself to the question apply yourself to the assignment so i i think i was very close with um one of the law mentors right the the law mentors like i think the law mentor from four years ago harry like i think he held he held space for me that guy <laughs> like in so many ways special shout out to harry to like to but it also gave me a very hard time because he believed in me so 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 much like yo anytime i was there i think he would drag me i remember i messed up my first Mood court. I did not hear the end of it, and it didn't even make it easier because he was like, 
a very close friend to my sister you know so he had become like a big brother to me so even outside campus he would drag me and say you <laughs> messed up how can a person who speaks so well who's so smart mess up mood court what is wrong with you so he held space <laughs> for me you know so and then he'd always tell me he's like oh no you're doing well you know you should apply for being a tutor applications are open you know and then i'm like being a tutor and then i would think having to manage all the students because also uh i don't know if it's a fortunate thing i'm always the youngest in my class like you, you know like i'm I'm, I'm such a baby like guys i'm only 23 years old like wow. i'm such a baby so it always gave me so much anxiety that um now i have to manage and god has always entrusted me with managing people that are of like that are older than me so it always gave me anxiety with it now people in my class most of them are older and even some i know a lot of my students were my age or a year older a lot of my students were like 97 or 98. So now they have to take wisdom from me. And I felt like they wouldn't take me serious. But Harry and my other friends kept on saying, no, apply for it. Go for it. Then I saw when the applications came out, I was like, okay, let me apply for it. I was called for an interview. Interview went well. It was great. And they would always ask you questions about, tell us about yourself. What are you going to do better as a tutor? And then they also test your... Um, are uh, your problem solving skills if a student came and did a b c d great i feel like the first interviews were amazing right in my first year of being a tutor they went as bad and because i had always like i'm very passionate about employment interviews those kind of things like it's it's close to my heart so i constantly do research on how you can actually better improve yourself you know when you're going for interviews so i did the interview it was great i nailed it and then i was in and then the second year, we also had to re-interview. So before, they would always say, if you are a tutor, you just go on. Yeah. Okay. Then, Hi, nice again. <laughs> in. So now we had to renew our contracts yearly. And that meant not just signing you renewed. It meant getting re-interviewed again. Yeah. And now you're competing with other people, not the ones that you know. Because sometimes when you know the people, like you just, you know, ah, this one, I know she'll get it. Yeah. This one, I know yeah. she won't. Whatever. Yeah. You, you put faces to characters and all of that. So now, second time, second year, I get an interview again, right? This time, it's with Professor Andrew If you guys know Professor Andrew <laughs> Dean, you <laughs> know. Hectic, yeah, right? they were intense, no, guys. Very and then I remember at some point, right? So I think he even went as far. I don't know how we ended up talking about history. But he would ask you things that are que trick questions. Questions that will lead you to an entanglement in an interview. Avoid those things, guys. Don't talk too much. Like, if you're asked, what is your name? Hi, guys. My name is Yvonne Princess Shabab. Don't start Hi. saying, no, I grew up in Wewe. Because some people, ne, if you are not asked about, don't mention it. Because some people, once you over-explain, and then they will look for things to ask you further. I don't know what I said. I said I enjoyed history. You know? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> you know, I thought I was just trying to zhuzh up my answer because I was being interviewed for... For introduction to legal studies and you know they do like we do history, history, history yes, yes, in terms of so where our law origins and stuff yes. like that was he not asking me about the whole of china was he not asking <laughs> me about nazi germany i'm like see and when i think about in grade 12 like i passed history also by the grace of god and i started doing history in grade 11 so you can imagine it's something that i took for granted and here i am as old as i was at the time okay i wasn't as old but i was like 17 I'm being asked about something that I took for granted when I was 15 or 16 when I was in metric. So you can imagine <laughs> all of that. Yeah, well, so he asked me, like it was intense, and then I remember at some point, they asked me how I make tea. I'm like, yeah. how do I make tea? And now they make you question things that you know you can do well. I'm like, why is it important how I make tea? Like, uh, what's the relevance? Questions. You know, but I explained it with you know, this is how I make tea, and I realized they use different ways to actually see how you do things if you're organized, if you, you, you follow structure, if you're on routine, and stuff like that. And at some point, I thought I didn't get the job, but I got the job again. I was selected, I enjoyed working in the faculty of law, I enjoyed working with my colleagues, and um, I made a lot of acquaintances. I know there's a lot of people I wouldn't have known or wouldn't have related to. If it wasn't for the tutoring office and i remember one of my highlights relationships that i felt like relationship with lionel like also guys please support his business native guns like please is, he's the owner of native yes, guns. yes 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 I'm, 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 i mean i need the master's gun hey please 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 contact him guys if I you're did. my friend oh I great did, yeah. if you're my friend and you you are not using native guns like i don't know why like i don't know why you are not using native mm -hmm. guns like yo 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 as people in this house i don't know why they always distract me 
Like, <laughs> anyway, I'm not gonna cut this out because I don't have time. <laughs> so, um, yeah, he's the owner of Native that Downs, cool. and yeah. and I, I love that we built quite a beautiful relationship because up to now, like, when did we finish school in 2019? But it's 2022. We do speak, we do encourage one another, and I remember he was one of the people that kept kept me sane when we were looking for articles. He would always tell me, like, you know what, Ivan, even if we don't get articles now as we are in final year. What I know for a fact is that next year, Nigga basically keep his share with Fritchin. There's this joke we used to make that when you're unemployed, buy a phone and hey, keep the share with Fritchin because you're yeah. at home, you know? But he'd always say, we're not going to be out there taking out his share in the fridge. We'll be working. However that happens, but it will happen, you know? And I've seen all of my colleagues shine and we, we've created quite a great network because I know sometimes when I need certain things, when I need to, when I need templates. And that's another thing about this profession, guys. If you intend on doing articles and stuff like that, just know you are going to need people, templates, drafts, directions, procedure, and all of those things. So stay yourself, stay acquainted. So after I did my thing in my, uh, my tutoring job, and then I was going to apply. Funny enough, uh, yeah. it is very ironic, right? When you applied for the low mentor job, right? The yeah. previous low mentor, told me like hey um what's called there's a post uh don't you want to apply and then i had to go <laughs> pray about it hey, I had, that's the thing yeah i wanted to pray about it I, like i think i would have applied and ditched mm -hmm. articles because at the time i had already gotten articles right for the following year it was november i think november, yeah towards the end of the year so i knew i was studying articles in general fab right i even remember asking him about the salary and all of that but i had to go to god and pray about it and say god here's oh, an opportunity he was when we was yes, oh, okay. yes. He told me about it, and then he's like, "Hey, there's a post that's happening now, I'm moving." Because I was even so excited that now he's actually finally becoming everything that he wants to be. He was going to be an assistant lecturer, lecturer and stuff. He's like, "Hey, you should apply and all of that. You actually stand a chance to actually getting it." And then I'm like, "Okay, great." And I know because I can I can talk myself into interviews. Like if you give me an interview, you risk <laughs> employing me. Like you risk employ guys. If you don't, if you don't want me, ne, leave it at view my CV. Because if you give me an interview, you risk employing me. Email them, hey. Yes, you know. So and then I was like, okay, fine. Asking about salaries and all of that. Then I had to pray about it. I'm like, okay, sharp. You know what? Let me. I think it. Let me pray about this and stuff like that. And then God is like, no, I, I know you want to go into academia and I know you want this, but now the season that you're in, you have to go the other route. And then I was like, oh no, thank you so much, Louis. Uh, because at some point I wanted to attempt doing both. I'm like, but I was, and at the time we were at heavy, heavy lockdown. lockdown so so online, all of the things were done yeah. online. But I remember integrity is very important, guys. Integrity is one of the things that's going to take you very far, right? I remember at some point they used to say you can't do like I, I know within the faculty right they'd always say you can't do like two tutoring jobs yes, like you can't yes. be employed like maybe in the education faculty and still want to be in the law faculty or you can't be under business management and still want to be tutored the side or work for the law clinic so and then after that I'm like okay sharp I can do both but I'm like mm -mm, man you know what ne? God will make means he will make it work accordingly for me right yeah. so and then I was like I you know what I like I, I've always told myself that I want to be admitted by 25 like it's written on all my diaries so I was like if I become a low mental face I risk not even getting admitted because like you said now you end up feeling like okay let me just assistant lecturer yeah, yeah. you know it, it, and I, <laughs> I know I want the title of being admitted or me on my CV right so I was like you know what I can always go the academic route later on in life yeah, yeah. so I went for doing my articles and stuff like that right and I think the same thing even happened when I was in my first year of my master's whereby I was offered a job at the law clinic and I already had a job as a tutor right so in all of that i'm like can i juggle both but because also we speak with network right mm -hmm. i remember telling a friend of mine they gave me the job i remember the secretary called me hi Yvonne, are you working uh we've got a job for you come through and all of that ne? and then i asked around i asked um harry at the time i was like harry like which one is better how does the hours work and then we we caucus and stuff like that and i think i know you know what i'll be good with the tutoring and then i called a friend of mine who i knew needed a job i'm like hey brah right now is things then take your cv send it tell mom maria i think was it mom maria or mom someone tell mom DFC. whoever yes dfc yeah. tell the lady uh hey you got the details from me i don't want the job i'll call her and decline so 
as you send this, if you send it on the spot, I'm calling to decline, you know. And that happened. She got the job. Everyone is happy. I have a job. She has a job. <laughs> and we're all getting happy. paid. Come on, yeah. then. You, you see. So when you network, I mean, I, I believe I'm a channel of blessings, right? So I, I always, I always, even sometimes I'm looking at job posts. It's not even about me. I'm looking, okay, fine. I know there's a friend of mine who needs this so I can forward this. So also now network and be that person you know share opportunities sometimes god gives you opportunities that are not yours they are for you to pass on to other people i know i've been caught up in a lot of seasons whereby i'll get opportunities great opportunities but when i look at my career my character look at the season i mean i'm like mm -mm, let me not be selfish let me pass it over so that has been my experience you apply the normal way you attend interviews the normal way some interviews are tricky and just like any other interview you always have to prepare guys i always say this do research prepare now every time i enter an interview i know who's interviewing me and i remember when they said mr Jordan, i didn't know Jordan like that but i went on linkedin i went on google looked at his all his accolades <laughs> looked at the things he's done he's written a lot his of interest, papers you know? his interests and all of that i read there i knew miss mukwena i went her cv great I looked, I looked, I looked, I'm like, okay. And then I knew, uh, who's this? Louis is probably going to be part of the interviews. I researched, but do your research. Don't walk in there and you want to meet a stranger. You've never seen their photo. You just want to. It, it, yeah. You're going to get nervous. Whenever you get an interview, guys, check the emails. Because sometimes they CC the people that are going to they interview you, you yeah, right? You do. go on LinkedIn. I love LinkedIn. It'll show you their photo. It'll show you where they studied, the things they love, you know? So it really works for you. Yeah, so... Over to you. Tell us how you applied, how you okay. found the interview process and stuff like that. Um, okay, so firstly with the long mental one, before I forget, you mentioned something about, you know, sometimes you get a job and then you can pass it on to someone. Mm -hmm. I didn't know about the long mental mm -hmm. I didn't know. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I have a friend, Felicity, she works, I've mentioned her in the other mm -hmm. in the other um, video. Yeah. Media, yes. So um, she works at the library. Mm -hmm. So one of her friends, not really friends, but colleagues said, mm -hmm there's this post do you see they're gonna apply mm. and the time they're closing on friday mm. and i had no idea and she called me she's like friend do you know there's a lot of mental post i'm like no i didn't know mm -hmm. like and then she's like there is and apparently it's on facebook and it's closing on friday i think mm. this was wednesday or something mm. i'm like oh she's like yeah apply man you have mm. nothing to do mm. i'm like okay thanks mm. that is how i go to apply literally mm. i think about two days before yes and, and i also yeah. remember the way guys were so stressed this guy now i'm gonna hand because favorites <laughs> They will act like they don't know God has them and oh my god, I don't know. How's the interview? Okay, um please ask for me, ask around. Or like she was so nervous. You would say that she already knows that she doesn't have the job. But well, the moment she told me I'm in, I was so happy, like I was so excited. I'm like, I love to see this. I, I really enjoyed to see it. Yeah, so yeah. Like what I think guys, what I what is important I also think is if you get an interview, you get a job interview, ask the people with experience in that field. Sure. Like, you know, ask Ask the relevant questions, you know, mm. how what are they gonna ask? I know I've asked you, even I've got the to me, like, yes, yes, like, yes. No, mm. this is the position, why should I prepare you? And know, you can mm. imagine, Herbert Smith, ne? I, I, I've i never applied, I don't know anything about it, but there is a friend, an acquaintance, friend, friend, acquaintance, yeah, ne? but I knew she had went there, so I had to keep on forwarding questions, <laughs> forwarding voice notes, and all of that. You see how networking works. She doesn't know the friend. She doesn't have a relationship yeah. with the friend. But she got to benefit because a I lot, know the friend. Lot. You see. Mm -hmm. It actually helps, especially because you know what to expect from an interview. Mm. You know what to research, you know. Anyway, um, so I'll start with being a tutor. Sure. So um, I was a tutor. I first started being a tutor. Also, I was helped by Harry, mm -hmm. you know. It was like, you know, there's a, they, there are job posts like this, you know. I mean, there's ways you can make money because mm. most of the people at school are struggling, you know, they have miseries. Mm. You don't know how to pay your rent and all that. So mm. there is really ways, guys. There's a lot of jobs at the faculty. Mm. I know every faculty. So I first applied to be a commercial law tutor. Sure. Uh, it's different because we are commercial, we are tutoring become students, I think, mm -hmm. become accounting students. Sure. So um, there is like sort of a class, you just teach maybe. 45 students at a time, mm -hmm. unlike with intro mm -hmm. and legal skills based face to face consultations. Mm -hmm. So that gives you also a different type of experience. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, first year I tutored commercial law, mm -hmm. and then second year I tutored introduction to legal studies, studies sure. and I've been tutoring it. And then, so this this is very different because you experience different things now. You're mm -hmm. also dealing with law students, and this is like face to face consultations. Mm -hmm. 
So anyway, guys, when you become a Twitter once, like chances are you will be a Twitter. Yes, there's and always a chance. People are leaving because there's also LLB students that go for articles. Mm. So there's always room for more Twitters. Sure. You know, so just don't just like and there's also um, I think assistants. Yes, assistants. assistants yes, sure. Assistant. By the dean's office. Yes, sure. yes. Mm. Guys, there's jobs like if you just want them, just ask the right questions, ask around, you know, mm. how can I do this? How do I prepare for the interview? Sure. And it's not also just about your marks, you know, mm. it's also how how you present yourself, can you yes. like explain things to students, mm. you know? So if Yvonne mentioned something about interviews, sometimes they want to see they won't ask you about the content obviously, mm. but sometimes they just want to see if you can think on your feet, you know. Sure. I mean they ask me about I wrote Sometimes, guys, be careful what you write on your CV. <laughs> if there's anything I never write, I don't write. I'm a hard worker because I just go can. I work well under pressure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So I once wrote, I play basketball, so I wrote, I love basketball. I play basketball. Mm -hmm. It's one of the hobbies. Sure. And they're like, okay. And that's very interesting, actually. I wouldn't think would say like basketball. I'm, ah, I'm a sports person. Volleyball, basketball, netball. Yeah, okay, volleyball, yes. Yeah, but basketball. <laughs> but I'm like, yeah, okay, but yeah, so that's like, very nice. How many balls, you know? How many basketballs fit in the stream? <laughs> <laughs> they are color, man. Yeah. I'm like, uh, what? Mm. I didn't even know what number, I, but I didn't even know what to say. You know, like, do I multiply? Like, what do I do? So yes, just, how do I yeah, do it? Mm. But they just ask you to just throw you off, and you, know, so mm. you can think on your feet, and you mm. can just carry yourself on after the interview. Mm. Guys, to the interviews are not hectic. Sure. I would advise anyone to honestly apply for that. Mm. And when you're a Twitter form, maybe two three years mm. you can also be a senior twitter mm, sure and that is also that gives you maybe the obvious is gonna be maybe increase mm -hmm. your your responsibilities a bit sure. but it also increases your salary mm -hmm. so you also guys being a tutor is not hectic mm. you can attend your classes it's very sure. flexible you attend your classes you choose your hours where you want to mm. when you want to consult mm -hmm. you know and it's also beneficial to you because you get to you know the you keep up with the content because sure. also things are changing so mm. you get to know the changes i mean mm -hmm. when you're in fourth year or they day you do your criminal law you sometimes you forget but you learn yes, the skills. elements you yes. know because first year and second year always uh do a foundation exactly. for you and you meet you remit those things again in in final year you know but yeah. if you're a tutor you're able to remember you so always, okay these are elements that i need you know you don't forget them yeah yeah so that is how I got to become a tutor. Mm -hmm. The applications, I knew them from here. I asked guys, I asked around a lot. Even sure. for masters, mm -hmm. I asked, you know, what, what advice would give me? What mm -hmm. can I do? You know, what is the benefit of this? Who did commercial law? How did you find it? You know, sure. is it that does? So you ask around, ask mm -hmm. around. People people are always happy to help. Mm -hmm. Even the tutors are always happy to answer, you know. Sure. So I got, so as I was saying, I got my, my tutor job. And I've been tutoring for I was tutoring for three years sure. before I applied to be a long mentor. Mm -hmm. And what's funny is the following year when I was doing my my, my the follow, this year actually mm -hmm. I wanted to be a senior tutor. I was like, no God, it's not. I need a promotion. Mm -hmm. I've been a tutor for three years. Mm -hmm. I need a promotion. Mm -hmm. You know. So I was thinking senior tutor, but got a different plan. That's sure, I got sure. Mm -hmm. The long mentor thing. I was shocked that mm -hmm. it's there. And then I got the interview, and I didn't get the results till. Mm -hmm. Yes. But mm. I got the job to be a law mentor, which was very, very, it wasn't that I was very grateful for mm. because since I was the first year, I always looked up to my law mentor. Sure. They were like, people were happening in the faculty. So yes, and I, they become yeah. your anchor. And I think yeah. more than anything, I'm actually very graced and very honest to be sitting <laughs> beside you because also you get involved in a lot of things, you know, because when, once you become law mentor, the faculty trusts you with a lot of things students events and organizing exactly. and all of that you meet different kinds of people and who knows you might even meet your future future employer you know those kind of because when you're alone you you relate with a lot of people in the smooth court you need to plan some people are coming from overseas you need to ensure things are in order you need to work with your tutors and stuff like that so it, it really does help at the end of the yeah. day you know and it, it's very it's, it's, it's also it's financially more than just financially mentally rewarding uh, it increases your intelligence and also your discipline because yeah. sometimes when you're a student you have more time that is that that is just idling around that is not <laughs> allocated you find yourself even doing dodge things because you your have time. too much time yeah. but when you're a tutor when you're doing something on the side your time is strictly managed you know what's okay fine when i wake up in the morning if i don't read for one hour i'll never get a chance because my day is packed you know yes, you you yes, start yes. planning your things around that so it's very 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 important also i love what you mentioned that we see uh you need to be honest 
guys don't 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 lie on your CVs. Don't do it. Because <laughs> some people have become so smart that they will ask you things you yourself typed. And exactly. that's the thing about the, if you lie, if it's not your brand. Like I say, now I know I get things done. I meet deadlines and stuff like that, right? But if I would say, like, I'm a hard worker like that, I'd be lying. I just prefer doing things well. And, like, putting the effort you have to put in and then doing it properly and doing it well. You know, I'm not a person, I'll never lie and say, nah, every day I would leave uh, the office at 2 a.m. That would be a lie because I know that I, I, I prefer waking up earlier. I'm at the office before everyone. I'm at the office at 7 o'clock. Most people come into the office at nine. I've already had two hours. But those people that come to the office at nine, some of them, they leave at five years. Some of them leave at 10 in the evening. Some of them leave at two in the evening. But tell the truth so that your bosses even know your strengths. You know, whoever that supervises, you know your strengths. They know the kind of work to give you. They know what to expect from you. Now I know my bosses, even they always make jokes. But yo, if one more five, ola, you know, <laughs> if, if I, I, I'm at the office by 10, They'll be like, what's wrong? Are you going through the most? You know, because now they've known the kind of person I am. They know how I function. They know how I do things. So don't lie. And that's the thing. The right company, the right employer will employ you even with your flaws. Yes, yes. yes. Because at the end of the day, I'll say this, especially about being a CA, a kind of attorney. No one will ever prepare you for this. Even if you pretend, no one will ever prepare you for this journey because it's not guided like this or it's going to go like this. Our journeys are different. So you can't pretend to be a perfect CA in an interview. Get there, yes, sell yourself well, show your strengths and all of that, but be honest with whatever. And sometimes we have all the strengths we need, but we just don't know how to sell them. Learn to sell yourself, your brand properly, don't lie. Because imagine if you had lied about basketball, yeah. now you even be so good at balls. <laughs> like, what's happening? Like, like, what's happening? You see? But yeah. because you told the truth, you're even able to navigate around it and think on your feet to say, okay, fine. A basketball ball maybe is this big. Maybe we can just say maybe a thousand will fit in. But me, if I was to say something like that, if they say a ball, now I have to start thinking, what it? How big is the ball? Is it How like a tennis ball? Is it like <laughs> you know the kind of thing? So it's very, very, very important. Yeah. And then yeah, I know the saying. So now, also what you know is when you apply for these positions, there's always support that you get. Sure. You know, because okay, they only I'll just list the jobs after. But as I was saying, there's like support that you get. For mm -hmm. example. She mentioned that you know, with with when you're a long mentor, you have to you know enough get around mood card and all of that. And I don't have mood card experience, so mm. those are those are one of the things I'm like, am I gonna get this job because mm. I don't have this experience? Mm. But you know, if God has given it to you, He has mm. given it to you. So sure, when it's I found, time, yeah, yeah, I really have a very good support system. Mm. The lecturers are very understanding; they help you. You know, I mean, there's so much they can do as well, but they really help you. Mm. I mean. Louis really, really helps with the mood mm. thing a lot because I don't have any experience. Mm. So he really tries to give you a guide, you know, mm. on what to do. And you know, at times, even with the hectic things that have been ongoing, mm. you know, he just finished it because I I just got in and some mood codes were going in. So he's mm. just like, no, it's fine. You know, just do what you can and then we'll do this. Mm. So you really have a very good support system. Even mm. as a Twitter, you're yeah, a new Twitter. We teach you how to mark. We teach you how to do what you have to do. Sure. You know, we have consistent meetings, you know, we ask you are you okay because mm -hmm. as much as also you are assisting the students a lot mm -hmm. you you yourself can you have your work here student mm -hmm. yourself so sure. at times the balance you know mm -hmm. you find you have tests you have assignments due they are student assignments due you mm -hmm. have your consultation hours at times it becomes tricky mm -hmm. we are there to help you you know sure. we are there to to assist you so you are not left alone to mm -hmm. be like you know what figure out 50 students Sure. see what you do mm. we give you a guide and we help you we give you a memo you know mm. this is how you mark and it also helps you you also have to obviously have to research on your own because mm. sometimes when the student asks a question you have no idea mm. or you have to familiarize yourself with that particular topic that sure. you're learning that week it also helps you it enhances you know your mind you know you mm. get to also keep learning those are the things that will help you with your other modules as well sure. yeah, and and i yeah. think you know one of the things i also learned i learned how to deal with different kinds of people exactly. one thing about students guys and i don't know if it's, it's a spirit that we have as students <laughs> students are very malicious you know they, are. they will yeah. lie about you and they will if, if you can't stand your ground they will manipulate you they will not attend their consultations and make it about you like they will say a lot of things, you know, they will put you in, in a position whereby you seem incompetent, right? And those are the things that no one can teach you how to handle those kind of conflicts. 
you know i remember at some point i had this student very notorious student the student decides he doesn't want to come for his consultations yeah. every time he's not coming and i end up telling him Mohre, first of all ne, how is your assignment going to be marked because every time i mark assignments i need to talk to you exactly. i need to explain to you why you didn't get 10 marks i need to explain to you why you didn't get two marks and then i say to him he decides to meet me on the corridor he's not even coming for consultation yeah. he meets me on the corridor and then he says to me um hey uh, have you marked my assignment what, 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 what i'm like yeah your assignments are there you haven't collected your assignment anyway if you continue like this i won't mark your assignment until you come to me right then what does he do he gets sick and then when he gets i don't know he, he he got injured or something like that then he says to me i'll give my also he had a tendency of not submitting things on time i'll give my friend the assignments so he wants to give the friend the assignment for this week and assignments that he could have submitted three weeks ago when he was not ill then i tell him that no you are like right now you are bsing me because like you can't tell me that you want to submit something three weeks ago i'm not gonna take it who's gonna yeah, mark it yeah, i tell yeah, him yeah. that and instead of him apologizing he makes it about him he goes to his mom and says mina i said i did not want to mark his work and That's stuff not. like that he took it that far then i got an email from uh louis right he was lament at the time to say hey but who's the student what's happening i'm like the nice thing is also keep your records as a tutor your register and all of you. that i took out my records i'm like the student doesn't attend he doesn't submit assignments on time and if your lecture tells you that you why didn't it's like if your lecture tells you because i get it they submit in class yeah when the the boxes are there we collect them if you are told that if you don't submit in class you have to go see your lecture who am i to go against that you must go to your lecture and explain why you do not submit then the lecture will tell me that okay no it's fine Ivan. i've dealt with this how you can take the work and stuff like so he twisted it and had i not like you say great support if our faculty wasn't as supportive and if i couldn't stand my ground if i couldn't yeah. handle conflict better i would have sank you know i would have sank but because our faculty is there for us they understand that there are students that there are some students not all there are some students that are notorious that will take chances that don't want to do their work on time that want to do things their way and stuff like that and those kind of students if you don't keep your records also if you don't do your work well they'll put you in trouble they will definitely mm -hmm. you they, will, they will yeah so and yeah that's yeah um, and then also how was your interview with uh, the low mentor interview how did it go was it intense and yeah not even i think it wasn't because i have experience mm -hmm. in being a tutor and i've looked up and worked with the previous law mentors i mean harry mm. louis and brock i've mm. always worked with them very well so mm. i knew you know when you know and you have experience in that sure. thing, so it made it very easy because sure. i knew the duties of a law mentor i knew as a tutor what you're supposed to do mm. so how i was going to incorporate that into dealing with a lot of students sure. i knew that so it, it was very very helpful because i also asked like i told you i asked mm. i asked mm. brock she was the law mentor mm. like there's an interview so really what is expected from you know just mm. a general guideline and she told me no man just know your story know the duties of a law mentor even mm. guys when they advertise these things they tell you key responsibilities you mm. know doing this doing this doing this so look up those you know know sure. the key responsibilities because mm. your answer should be in line with that sure and, and you know i I, I, yeah. I love what you say because we have a problem whereby people don't some people just apply and i always say apply for jobs but guys sometimes read yes read, read the requirements yeah, yeah and sometimes i know you will miss one requirement then you can apply you can right now i can't apply for an accountant job what am i doing <laughs> like you know it won't work but it's if, maybe it's yeah. legal accountancy then there's other requirements that i meet then maybe there's one that i don't meet. i can take chances but mm -hmm. there's no way i can just decide okay let me apply for this job I, i've never done anything relating to that job i know right now i can take my chances and be like okay let me apply for being an assistant teacher because okay uh, yes i don't have the qualification but i've been a tutor so i know how yes, to work with students exactly. i can justify me being employed as an assistant teacher not an actual teacher but an assistant because i know already yeah. somebody who has a qualification is aside me mm -hmm. so me i can assist them with the experience that i have i know how to communicate well i know how to do a b c d and all of that so guys it's very 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 important yeah. that you do your research and you read the applications guys take your time it's got you. you know yeah. don't put yourself under unnecessary pressure but take your time and i'll never stop saying this pray over your cvs we live in weird times you know people are cruel people do dodge things and stuff like that so pray over your cvs affirm your cvs speak over your cvs 
do your research show up every time you have to show up and then what is your word to a person uh this week what is your word to a person looking for a job um is it any job or is it any, any job? job any um, job like what i said in the last video guys don't give up you know sure. whatever post go, go to facebook you know usually mm. they post this this ad on facebook go sure. to facebook when you see sure. an ad apply you mm -hmm. know especially if it's something that is within your field mm -hmm. apply ask around you know mm -hmm. even on linkedin you know say you're open to work at times mm -hmm. you get these notifications sure. you know just use those platforms and don't give up just apply mm -hmm. and at times guys when you want to apply for example where i'm at is a mm -hmm. moment i didn't see myself there mm -hmm. yet but i started as a twitter mm -hmm. you can start That's small somewhere. nothing I'm is wrong so. yes nothing is wrong with starting small mm -hmm. you know you can start as an assistant you can start as just a secretary you get there you know in, in the meantime you've been working getting an income mm -hmm. while finding you know while finding a dream job or finding sure. where you want to be mm -hmm. you know so just and also sometimes jobs come your way for a reason mm -hmm. so don't just be quick to sort of decline jobs yes. or be like mm -hmm. no man now i want to i want to do my article when there's, there's something reason. like a, as sure. a secretary i'm not gonna do this mm -hmm. there's a reason what if you go there and then someone sees you from there sure and then you even you don't even have to interview mm -hmm. for what you want mm -hmm. you know so mm, just so. yeah just you know and not like yeah. i always say there is no wasted skill every exactly. every day i wake up one of my mandates is learning I, I i don't take a day of learning as a waste sometimes i get bored i'm like yo what is this gonna do for my life but when i reflect i always think um there's something you know there's something like i said working at a retail was one of those things where i was like yo me nalo you know a smart <laughs> girl like me, me yeah. you know but I learned a lot. I learned how to work under pressure, though I don't like it, but I learned how to work under pressure, how to deal with angry clients, angry customers, how to how to, to compose myself, how to handle conflict, how to work with people. I learned various new languages and stuff like that. There's always something you're going to learn in a job. It might not be directly linked to an actual dream job, but it will be useful at some point. Like, I mean, I would never say no to an admin job because I think in every, every field, you need to know how to do administration. Mm -hmm. You need to know how to handle your files. You need to know how to put, organi or, you need to know how to organize your things. No one can teach you organizational skills unless on the job. Yeah. You know, yeah, there's yeah. only so much I can say and say, no, this is how you organize things, you know. But if you are on the job, if you're constantly doing it, you actually learn better. So, Bunny, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much for coming in um yeah so mm -hmm. one last thing that i forgot to say guys above everything you might be smart you might be you know you might be finding the right jobs you want to apply for but above everything trust god sure. like I, i'm not gonna lie he has carried me through mm. everything i'm where i am because of him sure the job that i want and everything trust him and at times it doesn't happen the way you want it to mm. happen at times sure. not the perfect time that you want but trust in him, pray, mm. pray regularly, you guys, you know, have prayer requests, mm. do what you can, fast if you can. Mm. And I believe really God answers prayers. Sure, he does. Because it's everywhere where I'm at, I had to first struggle through something. Sure. And I pray about it. And when you pray about it, have faith in him. You know, mm. I realized something when I was waiting for my master's results. Mm. You know, you pray, mm. but then there is doubt in your mind like no sure. but what if i don't get this what if i mm. don't get this and i feel like god had to teach me a lesson mm. regarding that so whenever i was doing something like applying for the phd thing mm. i prayed about it i mm. did everything and i left it in the hands of those who were supposed sure. to answer and i was fine mm. i was at peace with whatever results i was gonna get sure. i was okay i was mm. happy I wasn't stressed. I continued with my normal life mm. until I got okay. You know, you can register for this. Sure, I, I so, think it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's actually also a learning moment for me, a revelation moment for me. If there's anything I've been struggling with, just let it go. It's like board exams results. But now that you mentioned that, at some point you have to be at peace with whatever yes. the outcome is. And I think it's something. Maybe it's a lesson for me for the week to say, you know what. If this is where God wants me to be, there's nothing really much I can do. It goes back exactly. to also, I think, something I mentioned to say, we're going to discuss in this video. I love that you brought this up to say, what do you do when you're waiting? Are you in doubt? Are you negative? Are you angry? Are you depressed? You know, and yes, those feelings are going to creep in, but don't stay there. When you are waiting, you praise the Lord, you worship, exactly. you, you spread positive vibes, you know, you, you, you are teaching other people. Don't say just because when you're waiting excuse me just because when you're waiting for a job uh, response 
other people mustn't apply when you see a post send to other people uh, yeah. you know uh yeah. if i i have this thing that i do every time my friends buy new cars i i i, I pour them petrol right for me it's planting a seed right but not just because i don't have a car it doesn't mean i can't plant a seed just because somebody else uh um, is, is getting a home it doesn't mean i'm not planting a seed when someone says they bought a home i buy them cutlery because that's me saying I'm in my waiting season. I am. Yeah. I'm celebrating with other people. I'm con congratulating, congratulating other people. You know, I am praying. I am worshiping, and all of that. I'm not just being negative and stuff like that. So, thank you so much for bringing that up. And that you guys had trust the process. Definitely trust God. God loves you, and God knows what's best for you. All you need to do is come before Him and ask, pray about it. Ask him. God answers, guys. He might not answer the way we want, but always be awake to see God answering. Because he answers in his own way, because he knows what is best for us. But anyway, guys, without further ado, I hope you enjoyed this video. Yeah. I hope you're going to learn a lot. Don't forget to share this video with your friends, especially they, our favorite institution by the University of Johannesburg. Yeah, please, please, please share this video. <laughs> share it, share it. Let it go viral. Spread it as much as you can. And do not forget to be light. Do not forget to be loved. Do not forget to pray for another person. And do not forget to be kindness. Because in all things that we do, we ought to be kind. We do not know what people are going through. Oh, thank you. Me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you much, guys. buddy. And congratulations for all your achievements. And guys, <laughs> this is a week. You. you guys are also going to hear good news. Check your emails regularly. Keep on opening your emails. Who knows? Maybe today is your day. God bless you. Bye. Bye.